The path to the White House. First tonight, President Joe Biden's Oval Office address to Americans after stepping down from the presidential race to endorse his vice president, Kamala Harris. President Biden says our country is at a turning point and it's time to pass the torch to a new generation. You know, there is a time and a place for long years of experience in public life. But there's also a time and a place for new voices, fresh voices, yes, younger voices. And that time and place is now. Biden went on to say he still has work to do in his final six months, including work to grow our economy. He said he will continue to protect the personal freedoms of Americans and will continue to call for reform to the United States Supreme Court, as well as continue to work to keep NATO strong. Let's bring in ABC 15's political reporter, Rachel Louise, just now. Rachel, with Biden out, how does the shift look in Arizona? Yeah, Harris has until August 6th, or excuse me, August 7th to choose a running mate. The Democratic National Committee chair telling that this morning to MSNBC, and that could be Arizona's Mark Kelly. But Harris also has to convince voters to stay with her as well, regardless of her running mate. There's a lot of excitement. We have momentum on our side. We are seeing people come to the party asking what they can do to help. This is an energizing moment. After a tough few weeks for Democrats, as Joe Biden faced pressure to exit the race, <laughs> excitement and momentum were the words we heard repeatedly from Arizona Democrats on Wednesday. It feels like a reset, honestly. As they proudly stand behind Kamala Harris to be the nation's next president. And automatically knew that, you know, Vice President Harris was, was the right choice for young people and, and knew that we could kind of take this energy and, into something and build it in Arizona. Nationally, the enthusiasm is strong. In two days, the um, campaign raised over a hundred million dollars. Sixty percent of those donations came from first-time donors. All of Arizona's delegates have pledged their support for Harris at the convention in August. She already has enough pledged delegates to win the nomination. But others who were unenthusiastic about Joe Biden feel the same way about Harris. In reality, it, it doesn't change anything for me. Lexi Ray Coronado was part of ABC 15's undecided voter panel watching the June debate with us live. She ended that night deciding she wouldn't be voting for for either Trump or Biden. Why would I vote for either of these candidates? With a new candidate, her views stay the same. I've become disillusioned with the two-party system. Voting is not the only way to advocate for my beliefs. I believe in uh, organizing. I believe in people power. I believe in grassroots mobilization. I think they have a problem because I don't think they could pivot to policy because their base is so divided. Republicans like Arizona's state party chair have picked up on the divisions within the Democratic Party and hope it'll keep Democrats out of a second straight term in the White House. If you're not talking to them about what they're concerned about, why should they support you? But Lex Irie says neither party represents her views and she's not alone. There is little more than 100 days until the election. For ABC 15's political team, I'm Rachel Louise Just. The Arizona Democratic Party has just endorsed Senator Mark Kelly as Harris's running mate. This comes after three minority voter groups announced they are backing Kelly as well. Activate 48, Lucha and Our, Vo Our Voice, Our Vote, Arizona. On the Republican side, Vice Presidential nominee J.D. Vance is hosting a rally in Glendale next week. The Ohio Senator will be here Wednesday. You can find all the details and the latest political headlines on ABC15.com slash elections.